Hello and welcome to the show. This is Everything Under the Sun. My name is Ty. Hope all of you are doing fantastic today and enjoying your week as much as possible. I woke up this morning and I'm not sure if any of you have had this happen before or thought about this, but have you ever known someone like years ago and then you know them now and they're just completely different? Maybe they were like a partier and they just like they were kind of wild and crazy and now they're like a teacher, you know, teaching our youth or maybe they're, you know, a responsible parent in some way or just like doing something that seems so opposite of what like how they were you know and and of course that's just like that's just what happens with change but it's just so crazy every time I wash my face in the morning I see this scar on my forehead and it reminds me of this night that happened years ago I think it was like eight years four months and three days ago or something like that something close to that I don't know but it was a it was a situation where we we were at this party and it was like our kind of like the party house and then apartments right across from it and I go into this apartment and I see two of my friends in there and they're arguing and let me just set the scene for you you open the door and the living room is right in front of you and then to the left is the kitchen with like a breakfast bar area and this breakfast bar is full like I don't know how it's this full with cans and bottles and ashtrays and just other random stuff it's just full of bottles and this girl is standing next to the bar and my friend is standing in the living room and I walk in and they're just yelling at each other like I don't know what the situation is but they're yelling at each other the girl starts to take things off of the bar like the cans and the bottles off the bar and starts just throwing it at him across the room he sees me and comes to me towards the door and starts to stand behind me as if she's gonna stop throwing things she doesn't stop throwing things I swear her arm is like a catapult like one of those baseball things in the batting cages she just keeps on like tossing these and then she starts grabbing ashtrays like at first it was just the cans which were fine but then she starts grabbing ashtrays and like the beer bottles and it was a beer bottle it was a Bud Light bottle just to be specific it was a Bud Light bottle the ones that they rebranded to put like your name on it but no one put their name on it because they were too drunk I don't know why Bud Light thought people would do that but no one put their name on it anyway it was a Bud Light bottle with the blank space that you can put your name on it and she grabs that and she tosses it her aim is completely off because my friend stopped standing behind me because I push him to the side so she stops throwing it but he's five feet away from me and she still throws it trying to hit him but hits me right in the forehead a huge gash ends up on my head I'm bleeding fortunately <laughs> fortunately me being hurt and bleeding stops the argument and whatever they were fighting about ended because they were they were uh, concerned about the fact that they split my head open. But it was just one of those situations where, you know, every time I look in the morning, every time I wash my face, I see the scar on my head. And it, it reminds me of that instance and these two people. And I see them now. And they're, you know, responsible, loving parent and a person that's in the army. And, you know, I don't know. It's, it's kind of just it's kind of just like one of those situations where you never really know how things are going to turn out or how people are going to turn out or how we're going to turn out so I think it's just uh it's just one of those situations I think I, I laugh at it I never put judgment or disliked any of these two people for that situation but it's a uh, it's a scar that I'm going to have for life so that's uh that's just what that is but you know change it happens with all of us and it's something that happens based on you know so many different circumstances so I'm going to go into this topic because part of our way of changing is the community around us and I think that this topic this follow-up at least will be something that kind of adds to that and allows us to find those ways of bringing those people into our lives that are going to help us to grow and hopefully not split your head open so uh, yeah we're going to get right into this so with with this episode I wanted to just break down four different things that I want you to think about or to consider at least when working on building your community for yourself because these are these are aspects that allow us to refine the people that are in our lives and identify the ways in which we can grow to our best abilities so the first thing i want you to think about is how much do you understand yourself and this is a this is a factor that goes into all these other things that i'm going to be speaking about and it really goes into just understanding where we are in life in this moment because that, that's what this understanding is. It's like, how do we feel in this moment right now? What, what are the things that we aspire towards right now in this moment? And that understanding, it has to come from this moment right now. Not, not understandings in the past, not who we used to be, not who we were yesterday or who we want to be tomorrow, but right now in this moment. And although all those situations, all those things add it to this very moment right now, to the dreams, the passions, the fears that you have, you have to understand where you are right now in this moment. 
that understanding is something so critical to just allowing you to have more freedom and have more power in controlling your environment. You have to understand who you are and, and the things that you truly want for yourself. Because if you don't understand what you want for yourself, at least right now in this moment, because those wants are going to change, those, those desires are going to change, those passions are going to change. But just right now in this moment is all you have to focus about. What do you understand about yourself? Sometimes I think we get so caught up in trying to know ourselves and we get stuck in a box because we try to do that. We know that saying, and I brought this up before, that saying, you're not the person I knew before. Because we have this expectation of knowing ourselves and then trying to know other people, not really factoring in this major component of change that's always happening. So let's remove that pressure of trying to know exactly what we want or who we are and just understand right now in this moment, what are we feeling? Understand yourself in that way of the things that you truly want to achieve in your life. So the second thing I want you to think about as you're building this community for yourself is notice who's already around you. Notice who's already in your community because you're already part of a community whether you feel as though you're part of one or not. Like there is community around you and it's because you're just a, a, a human in this world and, and all humans have some kind of community, whether it's just your family, whether it's just the people in your immediate surrounding, whether it's like one of your two best friends or whatever it is, like you are part of some community and we have to notice the people that are impacting us within the community that we have. Notice the role that they play in your life. Are they supporting you? Are they giving you love? Are they instilling doubt? Are they making you feel insecure in yourself? Notice these things because everyone has something to bring to the table. So what are these people in your life bringing to the table? And I mean, there, I said the last episode that everyone has something valuable to bring to the table. That's no doubt. No doubt every single human being on this earth has something amazing to bring to the table. But that doesn't mean people bring something amazing to the table especially when it comes to other people, or even ourselves. You know, sometimes someone may have a lot to offer. Maybe, maybe they have a lot to give, but at the end of the day, they're not giving that to you. Maybe they give you a factor of it. Maybe they give you some love, you know, and that love is amazing. That love, I love you bringing that to the table. Keep that on the table. But if they bring discouragement as well, a lack of support for your dreams, then, you know, say, okay, that's not something I want on my table. We have to identify the things that we want within the people that we have in our lives, within the community members that we have in our lives, and remove the things that are not supporting us. And it doesn't mean that we have to remove those people, but we just have to value and recognize what they bring to the table. Because if they bring discouragement, if they're discouraging you constantly, then you know when that conversation starts coming up, that starts going in that direction, then you can properly avoid it, rather than sitting there and listening to it and absorbing that information. Because you've identified, this is the source of why I feel doubt in myself. This is one of the reasons why I, I feel like I can't do this. So identify those, those people in your lives and those people in your community already that aren't supporting you. And the people that are supporting you. Take those factors and then realize, okay, this is what I have on the table right now. The third thing I want you to think about when building this community for yourself is how are you finding the people that are in line with what you want for yourself? And in order to do that, it goes back to that first example of understanding yourself. Right now in this moment, what are your wants? What are your desires? What are your goals? You identified the people in your environment that are helping to support you in different ways or not support you in different ways. Now it's time to fill in those gaps. Fill in the places where other people in your immediate environment are lacking in some ways. Maybe they're not giving you the knowledge that you need. Maybe they're not giving the support that you need. We have to find the people that are going to give us those things. And one thing is, we don't have to necessarily find those people in our immediate environment. Because right now, especially during COVID, it, it's not something that's really feasible to go out and then immediately get 10 people in your environment that are going to start to support your dreams in that way. Like, it's not something that's, it's not reasonable to think that. But we live in a world right now where we are connected in so many different ways and with people that are in completely different countries and completely different time zones. And, and that's something that's really amazing because we have the opportunity to build our community outside of those that are in our immediate surroundings. Something I do so often is I go on YouTube, I go watch TED Talks, I listen to people that are saying things and doing things that I wanna do, things that I'm passionate about, things that I wanna start moving towards and they're doing them and they're saying those things to me they're not saying them directly to me, but they're saying those things to me as I watch them, and I feel good inside. I feel heard. I feel inspired. I feel warm. You know, I, there, there's that feeling of just 
inspiration. You know, I, I'm not really sure if inspiration is a feeling, but it, it's it's something that is just really amazing, you know, and it's something that we've all felt. I know you felt it before, being inspired by someone's words, being heard, you know, that just sensation inside that feels like something right. Those are the people that you want in your corner. Those are the people that you want to keep hearing those words from because they are speaking to you, like your true self, you know, the one that aspires towards more, the one that believes and knows that you are more and that you can achieve more. Those people are speaking to you in that way. They're speaking to that part of yourself. So bring those people into your life because that passion and that continuation of just feeling that feeling is going to resonate with your entire self you know you're going to start being more in tune with that person rather than sheltering that person because that's what happens you know and nine times out of ten the world around us will shut us down and will kind of block in that person that we want to be that person that's maybe more true to who we feel we actually are so as you bring those people into your life you'll start noticing that more and more you're resonating with that true self that powerful self that willful and and strong self that knows that you can do what you want to do. So the fourth thing I want you to think about as you're building this community for yourself is how much are you bringing it back to who you are? All this information that you're gaining from other people. So often we get caught up in comparing ourselves and ultimately judging ourselves for not being in the same place as someone else is. For not being, you know, like that person that inspires us, we're not in that place. We, we feel discouraged because we haven't achieved that milestone. Maybe we haven't had the background they have. Maybe we haven't had the supports that they have. And we feel as though we aren't able to achieve those things because we're comparing ourselves rather than learning from it. These people are meant to be learned from, not to compare ourselves to. You know, the other day I was on the beach and it was a beautiful day, sun was shining, it was almost like no one on the beach. I looked down and I see footsteps in the sand. Someone was walking in the direction that I was gonna walk. And kind of just playfully, I, I had no agenda. I started walking in their footsteps. And I realized this doesn't feel right. It was a weird stride, you know, like it wasn't, you know, they were shorter steps than I had. And they just, it, it just didn't feel right walking in someone else's footsteps. Now I continued walking that direction, but I stopped walking in that person's footsteps because it didn't feel right for me. And as we bring that to life, you know, if if in life we constantly try to walk in someone's exact footsteps, it's not going to feel right for us because it's not us. It's not our stride. It's not our walk. It's not our footstep. We have to chart our own path. And even if it's going in the same direction, it still has to be our own path with our own stride. So as we start bringing people into our community and as we start really listening to them and listening to their words and, and what they have to offer, how much of it are we actually taking it and making it our own? Because that's the biggest thing. It's, it's making all this stuff your own, you know, making it something that you can use on your walk, on your journey, but not for us to constantly compare ourselves to try to be someone else. Something we all have to understand is that everything you have is enough. Everything you have is enough to do everything that you want to do. But you just have to know that you can do it. You have to bring those things into your life that can help you to do it. And sometimes it takes a, a growth period before we can get to that point of really achieving the things that we want, but all things require growth. You know, babies gestate for nine months before they're brought into the world. Seeds need time before they can start sprouting and growing into trees and flowers. Everything, even our thoughts, are like seeds and they need time to manifest themselves. We have so many parts of ourselves that it takes life and so many experiences and our intention to start shifting things to create better understanding for ourselves so recognize that everything you already have is enough you just have to discover it it's kind of like just growing into yourself and we all have to grow into ourselves in some ways like you see some kid with like maybe big ears or something and you're like that kid has to grow into their ears but even if they don't grow into their ears like own it you know it's like everything that we have that's part of us again it's enough and it's amazing. And you have something to offer. But you have to recognize that. So yeah, those are really the four things that, that I had broken down as far as just building this community for yourself. Again, understanding yourself right now in this moment, not yesterday, not tomorrow. Noticing those around you, those people that are already in your community, those people that are already influencing you. Notice them. How are they influencing you? How are they impacting you? Find those people around you 
or maybe even online that can be part of your community, that can support you, that can give you that knowledge to get to where you want to go. And last but not least, bring it back to yourself because everyone's going to give you advice, give you knowledge, give you whatever you want. But if it doesn't fit with you, if it doesn't feel right with with who you are and where you want to go, then don't hold on to it. And the stuff that you do want to hold on to, don't compare yourself to other people. Make it your own because you are unique. You are the asset. Make something, make it your own and it will be beautiful. It will be amazing. You will be successful, but you have to know in yourself that you're able to. But yeah, that's uh, that's everything I have for this episode. The episode next week is going to be on collaboration. And if you have any thoughts or ideas or comments or anything that you'd like to share, you can send those to everything.sunpodcast at gmail.com or any of the social media pages, Instagram, everything.sunpodcast, Twitter, at every sun podcast, and the Facebook group, at every sun podcast as well. So yeah, that's all I got. Love you all. I hope you enjoy your day, your week, and I will see you next time. <laughs>